Hey, this is Ace here with Hillbilly How To's. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to catch some bass in a pond. Um, I'm at a two acre pond here in Kentucky. Uh, it's a well stocked bass pond. It's got catfish and it's got bluegill in it. Um, I've been here a week. We're staying in a cabin here right on this pond. And I've used this week to experiment a lot of on um, a lot of different lures, a lot of different baits on all three of the species, on, on bass, catfish, and bluegill. So I'm gonna make three different videos, one for each, on uh, what I've experimented and, and what I've tried. So first here is, uh, this video is on bass. So I've tried the uh, the top water, uh, um, you know, some poppers and um, some torpedoes and, and stuff like that. Um, I've tried uh, Cinco, Cinco Worm, I've tried uh, crankbaits, uh, a few different, um, you know, uh, a few different lures and stuff. Um, I've at least casted about 20 to 30 times with each lure to give it a chance, moved spots, moved around, um, even, you know, slowed my, my retrieve. I've speeded up the retrieve, you know, slowed it down to just kind of a jerk retrieve. So trying even, you know, different types of retrieves and different stalls of fish in each one of the lures. Um, by far, uh, the uh, two and a half inch gulp minnow. Uh, tried a few different versions of the, the gulp minnow. Um, tried the one inch, I've tried three inch, um, but two and a half inch gulp minnow is probably the best um, as far as catch rate. Um, I was averaging about four to five casts, I would catch a bass. Um, now, of course, you'd pick up other stuff with the three inch gold minnow. Uh, picked up uh, about a five pound catfish uh, once with it. Uh, with uh, the two and a half inch, I was still picking up some bluegill. The bluegill in this pond are huge. So I don't think they had too much trouble hitting the, the two and a half inch. The one inch, of course, picks up a, a lot of bluegill. You'll still pick up some bass. But the the overall bait, though, the, the two and a half inch gulp minnow with a uh, one thirty second ounce little jig head, I'll show you that. So right here, I've tried a few different jig heads. Um, some bigger ones, you know, like a one sixteenth ounce, a one eighth ounce. Um, this has been the, the best catch rate. Uh, the one thirty second ounce uh, jig head. This this has has done the best with the, the two and a half inch gold minnow. I'm using the emerald shiner. There is a few different colors. Um, I have not tried um, the the different colors this week. I only have a, I have a, a bluish type one. I don't know the name of it, um, but I haven't tried it. I don't think it'll affect that much. Um, the blue and the black. Is, is pretty close in color so I don't think it'll uh, affect it that much um, but here's some of my my footage uh, for the week so for this pond it's hard to see in here but over to the top left corner of the picture there's a drain pipe coming in so if it's been raining for a few days uh, you're gonna have a lot of water uh, coming through that pipe so that is a very good place to, to fish. Uh, you're having, you know, fresh water coming in, but it's also bringing in other bugs and uh, other stuff for the, the fish to feed on. Um, also, with this pond, right over here to the left, there's a lot of bluegill beds. Um, of course, bass like to feed on small bluegill. Um, so right out from those bluegill beds, there's usually big bass that's just laying and waiting on some of the smaller bluegill to move out too far uh, to capture those. So I've had a lot of luck right in that area. Um, also in this area, it's just a good shaded area of the pond. Uh, there's a lot of trees hanging over. So I feel like there's a lot of bugs that are on top of the water and there's a lot of tadpoles in this area for whatever reason. 
Um, there's not many tadpoles in the other areas of the pond that I've noticed. So I think there's a lot of bass and fish feeding on that also. So I've had luck here and over on the bluegill blue beds and the drainage pipe coming in to the pond. There is some other creeks, just like dry creeks, that feed into this pond when it's raining. Uh, one being, right here is a, a drain pipe coming into this pond. So when it's raining hard, you'll get some water coming in here too. Um, and then over where the bluegill beds is, uh, there's like a dry creek kind of running into the pond um, that will be feeding it too. So once you find fish, then you want to pick the, the best bait. You want something that they are feeding on a lot. Uh, I think this uh, Berkeley Gulp Minnow works great because they are feeding on a lot of small bluegill and even small catfish and small bass uh, for that matter. So, so you want a good bait. And then thirdly is presentation. So um, my gulp minnow is ripped there, pretty good at the top. Um, you can actually flip these around. They do catch fish, even running upside down. Um, now I've tested this a lot. I still catch fish. Um, I do feel like I probably catch a little bit more with him running right side up but it might just be in my head because I mean I do still catch fish with this so I usually flip it at least for a few casts to see what I get before I throw this thing away. Oh, I got one. And that's a pretty good sized bass there. Yeah, he is not bad at all. Not a bad bass. Yeah. And uh, with all my how-to videos, I try to make them as short as possible, but informative. Uh, a lot of my videos is trial and error. You know, a lot of this stuff I'm just, I'm trying myself and I try to tell you where I failed at and what I had success at. Um, that two and a half minnow is, two and a half inch gold minnow is the, the best as far as my catch rate. Um, I've tried this in lakes also and seems to seems to do the same thing. So I use this week to really experiment with it, you know, and give the other lures a, a good chance. So uh, thank you very much for watching.